Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the seventh episode of School Live. This one's titled A Letter. Okay, it's been a while since we watched this. I apologize for that. Uh, the past, well, February in general was a very, very messy month for me uh, in terms of my real life. Uh, we had everything from my dad going to hospital to uh, the, my sleep schedule being fucked, which I fixed. Then my dad went to hospital, so it got fucked again. Uh, so a lot of things happened, but March, we're back on track, and we're back to uh, watching uh, School Live. Uh, to be fair, episode 6 last time was a fantastic episode, so uh, I feel like we, for the temporary hiatus I had to unfortunately take, I feel I left it on a very good note. Um, but it was a very, very good episode. I did have a quick uh, scan through it just to make sure I remembered everything from it. Uh, but yeah, we learnt, uh, we kind of wrapped up uh, Miki's introduction to the group, uh, covered Megane and the truth behind her, as well as just the way it did the, the shot choicing and the audio cues and everything for cutting between uh, uh, the delusional world of Yuki and the reality that Miki and everyone else sees was just brilliantly done. Just straight up brilliantly done, and I love the way they can do that, like, that was what really drew me in on the first episode was I vaguely knew that there was something going on when I entered into the show. It I wasn't like I was completely blind to the fact that like, oh, this is a slice of life show. Great. Like I knew there was a twist coming, but I didn't know exactly how or what that twist would be. Um, but the way they had all these little context clues going on that led into the greater reveal, like, could you imagine like, not knowing like this is what i love like i think shows are hard done by their synopsis because if you really want to pull off a surprise like that you can't even in your synopsis or in anything even vaguely hint that something is like gonna change you can't do that if you want to truly keep that suspense maybe this was like that back when it was first airing um, sites like Analyst and Mal probably weren't as big uh, back when this was airing, which was 2014? Uh, 2015. Okay, Mal was probably decently sized at 2015. I don't know if Analyst was around in 2015 or not. I think it, I think it has been. It might have started around about then. Anyway, um, yeah, this would have, been, it would have been a huge surprise, and episode 6 captured that same magic for me in the way it was switching between the two. I don't know if that's going to be a trend that keeps up with the rest of the season or not. I mean, we technically are halfway through the season. Uh, so I don't know if that's going to be a theme that keeps up or what. And I'm still <clears throat> slightly concerned about the ending. Because I'm like, where could you possibly end this? Like, you could end it on a slice of life -y note where it just continues on. And that's when you jump into the manga. Or it might have its own unique ending that kind of draws it to a close does it want an optimistic ending and a not so optimistic ending like I, I think about those things a little bit on the show but nothing i can think will change it so we might as well just get into it and see where it wants to take us um so as per usual these are time-based more actions here on youtube if you want to see full picture picture you can go to my patreon down in the description below four pounds a month gets you access to all picture picture actions i do on the channel which is everything from this season and future seasons uh certain backdated shows are on there uh patreon quest shows are on there like this one um, we have movie reactions on there as well, uh, more of those going up in the future as well. Uh, Wolf Children is the one for this month, I believe, so we'll be getting into that. Um, but here on YouTube we have to do timer base, so bottom left of the screen you'll see the timer for the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play, then on play you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. We are watching this one on Crunchyroll since that's where I can legally view it here in the UK. Um, no logos or anything, we're just going to go straight into the episode from a fade in. Uh, you can use screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when he's transitioning, that should help you sync it up. I'll call out the OP when it starts as well, because that's usually uh, fairly early on in the episode, so it should help sync up. And with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Very much in reality right now. in class, I'm guessing. Yeah. 
you're partially delusional now as well, huh? Yep. Oof. Okay. <laughs> mhm. Mm right. That's a long time. Language can be amazing. OP time, okay. It's a few more than normal, isn't it? Why am I imagining things? I don't know. Were there always that many zombies in the beginning bit? I can't remember. Oh, Meganase rubbed out! Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yep. The truth. Oh, these are different as well. Everything's more sad and less upbeat. I mean, songs are the same. That was... Yeah, all the images were much more... Um, sad. Hmm. I'm a little concerned by that, but whatever. Winter's gonna suck. Origins of that.
That's certainly creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yes, I believe that. <laughs> yep. Again, why this school has them? Right, yeah. I have questions how convenient this school is, but whatever. <laughs> yes, crammed in. That's creepy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> There's a false smile.
Oh boy. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Maybe. What is she going to find in all the stuff that pulled out? Huh? Is this where the letter part comes into it? There's some like cards and like letter paper in there. There we go. We have that capability? Right. So stupid. Right. The scuba club. Why does this school have every single club and activity imaginable? Right. Hmm. Sure about that? Mine's just as bad, I bet. That was quick. <laughs> Uh. 
We don't want it dead. Right. <laughs> Keys or something. What's it got written on it? Hmm. What did the other side say? Because only one side of that got subtitles for me. This is not going to work. Uh, also, the point of the carrier pigeon is that it knows where it where it's going. You normally train them so they know to go to a specific location, but whatever. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> sure. Ah, uh, damn pigeon. Well, lovely weather. Key. Mm hmm. You figure out what, what is key to. Yeah, that's optimistic. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, let's <laughs> get a second. Okay. What a name. Please tell me we see this damn pigeon at some point in the future. It'd be funny if the pigeon just let go and didn't fly and just went... <laughs> just me? Uh... I like this arrangement, because this is an arrangement of the OP, isn't it? Hmm, of course.
It's ambiguous uh, what happened to her, so... I think it's fairly obviously implied what probably happened, but there's a chance. Different ED. Maybe they. Oh boy, that looks less good now, doesn't it? That looks way less good. That bit wasn't translated, so someone help, please. Next time. <laughs> sure. Future. Okay. Yeah, that ED, the transition from them sleeping to the shovel, uh, bloodies, uh, look like a like a cleaver almost, and then the the, the teddy kind of ripped up. It's not filling me with great amount of confidence as to what might happen, but yeah, I mean it is what it is the midway point of the season, so it makes sense that they make some changes. Now I want to go back to episode six real quick and just have a quick look at the OP from there. Because I'm fairly certain that, like, that very first shot, the number of zombies increased. I'm fairly certain all the other changes, but I'm fairly certain the number of zombies went up. Oh yeah, there was definitely more zombies in uh, this version of the OP. Like, uh, that's quite a significant uh, difference, actually, in the, how many there were. Yeah, it, it's getting a little darker, the OP and ED, as to what might happen. A little concerned, just a little, but uh, maybe that's painting a picture as towards where this uh, ending might end up going. Or they just want to freak us out a little bit and be like, oh no, actually everything's fine. <laughs> now they'll do the reverse on it. Instead of saying everything's fine, but it actually isn't, but everything's going bad. Except it isn't. Maybe they're going to pull a reverse on us. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see what uh, they have planned for that. But another good episode. Um, more relaxed, I think it's fair to say. Seeing Yuki start to question things and starting to see that maybe happening a bit more frequently is interesting. I wonder if that's going to be a permanent theme now, is that more and more time goes on, the more and more she starts questioning certain things and starts to break down that illusion that she's built around herself. I wonder. I wonder. I'm very curious about that fact, but yeah. Uh, good episode. I'm glad we're getting back into the show. Hopefully I can finish this off well. Uh, what was that? Eight? Uh, We'll be two episodes off, but considering that we'll have episodes as uh, seasonals wind down and we have recap episodes and such, uh, hopefully I can get in a couple more episodes of this and we should be able to finish this by the end of the season. We'll see. Uh, I was on track to finish it by the end of the season uh, before everything happened, so I think we can catch up. I only need to fit in an extra two episodes at some point and we can actually catch up, so uh, I think that's realistic. Uh, we'll see what um, 
We'll see what the end of the season looks like and how the new season kicks in as well. Because I want to make sure I have enough content coming out uh, every week so we don't have empty days, for example. Um, but normally, the gap between winter and spring uh, seasons never usually massive. It's not usually much of a break. It's normally the um, winter, uh, the, the fall into winter one that is the biggest gap normally. Um, but yeah, seasonal gaps aren't actually that big anymore, which is great. Um, Especially since I'm watching so many shows, there's usually a show that's continuing on at least. So, Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Leave a like if you did, as well as your comments before the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Winter 2021 might be find on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.